Hello Aries viewers, I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Um, I know the reading I did earlier this month, I was getting that you were showing up in somebody's dreams, that you know you had this very strong psychic connection with somebody, and it could be someone that you haven't even met yet, and they're feeling your energy, you're feeling theirs, and maybe they even feel like they're going a little bit crazy just because they... You know, they, they don't know what's going on. They don't understand why they're having dreams or why they're having these, these feelings to go to certain places um, out of nowhere. But, you know, the psychic energy between you and whoever this person is, is, is very strong. So I would say that this is a soulmate, possibly a twin flame, um, maybe a life partner. You know, you have... For this group of Aries... I'm an Aries too, and for this, this group of Aries that I channel... You just there's a very strong psychic energy, just just lots of um, life transformations that you guys are going through right now. There could even be some chaotic emotions. Uh, I know in December, the there were so many um, different things going on in December with the planets. Like every you know, it's a full moon. There's just one thing after another, um, and then we've got Mercury retrograde too coming up in about a month. But, you know, some of that chaotic energy, it might have been producing anxiety, depression, confusion, um, it's just general chaos, maybe, you know, purging, might be, you know, losing old jobs, people, just just lots of chaotic energy. But the purpose, that, that energy, there's a purpose to it. It's, it's not just to mess your life up. It's to get rid of everything that's no longer serving you. You like, you are coming into your power in a way that you never have before. Um, you are going through a very intense very important life transformation right now is what I feel and this is what you're going through now is going to mark mark a before and after period of your life you know you're not going to be the same person when you come out of this so if you are one of those people that's going through the chaos again it's just things had to be shaken up to get you to push yourself out of your comfort zone um, to, to get you into alignment with the, the things that are meant for you. So just, just understand there is a purpose to that energy. For those of you that have already done the work, you know, some of you might not even go through that chaos. Some of you are just already there. Some of you, because there's, there's a lot of high vibrational energy coming through. And sometimes if you've been kind of at like a neutral point or things have been kind of stagnant, and then all of a sudden you have this high vibrational energy coming in, it can be really intense and really kind of scary and overwhelming because you're not used to it. You're not used to all these life changes. You're not used to being pushed out of your comfort zone to this extent. Um, you know, just everything that's going on with you, it might be kind of like new for you. Maybe you haven't experienced it in a while, but but it, it's all just very necessary to get you to where you're meant to be, to get you to the career that you're meant to have, to get you to the person that you're meant to be with to get to, you know, to just to have this life that's filled with abundance and love and this good energy that you've been trying to manifest. Um, sometimes it's if there's anything holding you back um, and you're praying for that, for your, you know, you're praying for, for this, for this, this change, you're praying for good things to come in. And I know sometimes you wish that it could just come in easily, but sometimes if, if you have subconscious patterns or you have toxic people around, or you have a dead end nine to five job and you're you're praying, you know, for a better career, sometimes you might get fired, you know, you, you might get fired and then your guides might bring you to something else or you might, you know, go through a breakup or you 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 might um, be forced to be introspective and um, to really do a lot of, of serious healing that you might not have um, been prepared to do. Um, and, and, and again, it's, it's all, it's all good. It's just, it's your guides pushing you to get to, to where you've been asking to be, to where you want to be. So just remember that if you're in the middle of this chaos, um, that, you know, this is a transformation. This is going to mark a before and after period in your life. You are coming into your, you know, high priestess energy or high priest energy, um, male or female, you know, you're coming into your power, you're, you're getting into this really high vibrational alignment with everything that you've been trying to manifest. And, and again, that high vibration, if you've been in a neutral position, the high vibration can just be, um, it can induce an anxiety at first, because it's like, you're just, you're so not used to all that energy. You're not used to channeling all at once. You're not used to, to, 
to feeling and sensing your guides around you all of a sudden. There's just, there's a lot of psychic high vibrational energy around this group right now. So I just want to put that out there for those of you that are going through this transformation. But again, not all of you are. Some of you don't need the chaos. Some of you have decided on your own, I'm going to quit the toxic job. I'm going to leave the toxic relationship. I'm um, going to be introspective and cut my toxic patterns out and work on myself and, and you know, get into a vibrational alignment with the things that I want. So some of you have already done that work, but, but, you know, good things, really, really good things are coming for you, you know, financially, um, as far as love, just things are coming in for you finally. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what else we can get regarding love here. It's a very almost like sexual energy too. It's like you're just a mag, you're, you're getting into this energy where you're just sort of like a magnet for the things that you want. So here we have domination, control, chaser, chasey, power, struggle, spying, manipulation, deception, clubs, party, social life. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> And keep in mind, I just want to put this out there because I used to be terrified to let go. Like I used to have such bad control issues and I still have to work on my control issues here and there. Like they still pop up once in a while. But I used to think is that as soon as I let go, bad things would happen. Like I was like the universe is out to get me. The minute I trust the universe and open up to love and just let things flow to me, everything bad happens. Like why, you know, I just, and I, I shut down. And then I started realizing it wasn't that bad things were happening. It was that all the stagnant negative things were being cleared out, you know? So it's like I, I let go and, and say, prayed for a better job and then I get fired and it's like oh my god why why would that happen to me why it's the opposite of what I wanted but it's like no my guides were pushing me out of something that was keeping me stagnant and keeping me numb so that I could go have the career I wanted same for love it's like you pray for true love and you think it's with this certain person and then you guys break up and you're like oh my god why did that happen well it's like because you're aligning with the vibration of true love and you might have thought it was with that person but it's actually not and so your guides are are pushing that person out and aligning you with what you what you really want, which you might not at the time know that you want. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Sometimes when I channel, it just kind of comes out as gibberish. So I hope it makes sense to you guys. <laughs> okay, so sorry. So we've got manipulation, deception, clubs, parties, social life, sadness, love offer, commitment, nostalgia, and longing, fear of commitment. Toxicity, red flags, and hidden motives, soulmate, past life, and soul contract. Okay, Ooh, can't really see it there. So I do feel the energy of someone that you're dreaming about that's dreaming about you or that there's just this telepath. Like you feel like you're about to be in a relationship or you feel like something or someone is coming in. Like you feel that you're you're in that vibration of love or you're getting into that vibration now. You know, it's a process. But um, I feel like this is an X that's popping through, which makes sense. I'm going to talk about the new person um, in a minute. I'm going to just read these for you really quickly. Uh, and this is a this is the energy I get for a lot of the zodiacs that I channel is I feel new love coming in. I think that the divine kind of put their foot down. Um, I think that they got tired of you guys getting hurt. They got tired of the emotionally unavailable people. They got tired of seeing you guys chase somebody. So I think even if this ex was originally a life partner, I think that the divine kind of said enough is enough. And collectively for, for most of the Zodiacs I channeled, they're bringing new people in for you guys. You know, they, they want you to have more than this. They, they want you to have someone that's emotionally available and ready for you and open. But, um, you might be choosing between two different life partners here or two different, you know, soulmates. One might be a twin flame as well. Um, and sometimes you actually meet the twin flame first and then you meet the life partner after the twin flame. So, you know, twin flames don't always end up together. They can if they're evolved, um, but it, it can be really difficult. It can, there can be like a little bit of a, a power struggle with twin flames. So, you know, it's possible that 
that it's just not going to happen with the twin flame, but that you have another life partner coming in that you're going to be happier with. Um, anyway, so this is an ex coming back around that's kind of spying on you. I feel like this person was maybe toxic, though. I think there was some red flags here. I think that they were afraid of commitment. I think that there was, a, I get like a sense of ego with this person. Like they needed to be in control. They needed to be kind of like dominant. They might have been kind of a pussy. They might have been kind of afraid, but they needed to be dominant in the sense that they needed to be like in control of their environment. They needed to put things in little easy to understand boxes. Um, you know, even if they had like a cowardly energy about them, it's like they have, so it's like not dominant in a positive way. It's, it's dominant in more like a negative way, like like somebody who's kind of a coward, but trying to be dominant, trying to be in control of this the relationship, their environment, calling all the shots, making all the decisions, putting you last. Um, just, just that kind of, like they get to decide. It's all about how they feel. They get to decide if this is going to go somewhere or not. It's all whatever they're feeling, whatever they want in the present moment. You know, little regard for you you know, power struggle here. And I think that this person is probably spying on you now. And there's some manipulation or deception here. There could have been some secrets told because I'm seeing this girl whispering in this other girl's ear. So if this is like a third party that you were caught up in, it's like somebody, there might've been some rumors spread um, about you or about some, there's just some kind of toxic energy here. You know what your story is though. This will probably resonate if it's for, if it's your message. Um, and this, this might be like a specific message for just a couple of you. It might not be for everybody. Um, but there's something about clubs and parties and social life to do. So maybe you guys went to like a club together regularly, or maybe one time you went to a club together or you met like some kind of social event or through friends. There's something about like clubs and partying. And that could be tied to this like manipulative, deceptive energy, like kind of, you know, putting up a show for appearances. There's just, there's just a strong sense of ego with this, this connection. But I think that this person is spying on you. They are sad. They are nostalgic. They are missing you. Um, but you know, and they, they do want to come in with this love offer and, and commitment, but they're, they're still afraid of commitment. So it's like, it's like a half ass love offer and they're still toxic. There's still red flags. And you know what? These are actually, it's really interesting because these are actually, this is the same photo shoot. This is the same woman right here. See, she's whispering in her ear and then look at that. She's whispering in her ear and then she's like in charge. So I almost wonder if it's like a pride thing with this person. Like they know that they can't have you now and they, they have control issues and they don't want to not have that control. And so it's like almost like they want to come back in and manipulate you and seduce you again, but they just want to do it so that you know, so that you think they're boss basically, you know? Like, they just want that control over you again. They just want to have you on the side in case they want you again, in case they feel like coming back to you, in case they need emotional support, they don't want to end up alone. It's, it's that kind of manipulative, deceptive energy. It's like, look, this person's whispering in her ear and then she's blindfolded. It's like she doesn't see what's going on. She doesn't see the truth about this person. It's like you have this person on a pedestal. You didn't realize how toxic they were until later. And then eventually you did realize it. And this person is mad. They don't have the control anymore. They're mad that, that you called them out, you know, or that you, you might not even said it verbally, but they just feel that energy. Like they don't have you on lockdown anymore. You know, you became aware of the deception, the manipulation. You became aware that you had a blindfold on and that you were blind to who this person really is and what they're really about. You know, you were blind to the toxicity. You had them up on a pedestal and you took them off that pedestal and they don't like that. So they might be coming back around. Um, spying on you, maybe asking people about you, maybe trying to run into you at a club or a party if that's, you know, if that's where you guys used to go together. But it's all about control here. It's like they're just whispering these little, they're trying to whisper these little lies in your ear again. They might come through with a love offer, but it's just the same crap as before it really is. They're just, it's not even love here. It's, it's more like they're just mad that they don't have you on lockdown anymore. Like, they are just mad that they can't do whatever you, they want with you anymore. They, they're they mad that you stood up for yourself, that you walked away, that you don't want them anymore. 
And so it's like, yeah, they might come in with a love offer, but the but it's deceptive, it's manipulative. The the fear of commitment and the red flags and the toxic energy is still all there. They haven't really changed, even if they try to pretend like they have. And if you take this love offer, you're going to be missing your real blessing because you do have true love. You do have somebody that's much better for you. So I wouldn't take this person. And you know who this person is. Like, this is going to resonate with you if this is your person. Um and if you take them back, if you believe these lies, if you put the blindfold back on again because you don't want to be alone or because it's familiar with them, um, because you're tired of waiting for the new love to come in, if you put that blindfold back on, you're going to be, it's not going to be good. It's, it's, you're going to be passing up on an amazing blessing that would have been coming your way had you not done that. And, um, let's see here. Yeah, because it's like you end up, you know, you you fool yourself. You let this person fool you. And then you end, it's like, look at them. They're in control. They're dominant. Look at this. Look at her, like, drinking her wine. And she's, this person's dead. This person's drained. This is like a psychic vampire here. Um, this is a narcissist. This is somebody who's very negative, very controlling, very manipulative. Um, they try to present this image of being innocent and sweet and loving, but they're really not a good person. And you know that, and it took you a while, but you finally saw through it and, and look at her. I think her neck is, is her neck slit? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but it's like bloody, it's like her neck, like it's like throat chakra blocks as well too, that you'd be experiencing with this person. Like you couldn't stand up for yourself because they would gaslight you and they would turn it back around on you and make you feel like you were the bad person, you know? And it's like, here you're laying, you're just, you're drained, you're exhausted, you're, it's like she's drinking her blood too. It's like she's, she's taken away her ability to communicate her, his or her ability to, to communicate, to stand up for your, to stand up for yourself, to be yourself, to speak your truth. Like you lost that ability, you'll lose that ability to this person if you do that again, if you go back to this person. Um, the red flags, they're still there. They're in that, they might be hidden again. They might come through but the red flags might be hidden at first, but it's, it's still, this person's still the same. They haven't changed. Narcissist. I don't think narcissist ever changed. I've never met a narcissist that has changed. I'm sure maybe, they, maybe there's a few that do, but it's very rare. Um, I wouldn't put all your eggs in that basket. Trust me. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just toxic. And again, it's just control domination. It's like old reliable, like they feel like they have, they have the control again. They have, you know, can get whatever, can drain you whenever they feel like it can get their emotional kicks from you, can get, you know, drain your energy. Um, it's like you're their rock, but they're not your rock at all, basically. Um, so, so yeah, I would not go for that again when it comes back in and be mindful of this because this could come back in during Mercury retrograde, which is coming up. So be mindful of that because this person is going to come whispering sweet nothings in your ear and you need to be conscious of this energy and you need to be on guard. I would just ignore it, block them, do whatever, but don't, don't give it another chance. It's, it's, it's all crap. Yeah. Apology, regret. No, no. I have originally been a life partner, but it's like, it's like you needed to step forward into something better. You know, it wasn't worth it. I think the divine came and said, you know what, we're going to get you a better life partner because this person isn't ever going to grow up. Um, can I see the new person, the person that you've been dreaming about? So we just had a quick warning about the ex. Can I see the person that you've been dreaming about? Or I don't know if you're dreaming, but there's like a psychic connection. Like you feel their energy. You feel like you're about to meet somebody new. Um, yeah, it's like a third party situation. This new person will be taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. It's what you've been praying for. It's what you've, you're manifesting. You're in a really powerful position right now to manifest the life that you want to manifest the love that you want and when this person comes in you're going to see why it didn't work out with this other person or why it didn't work out with any of the exes before them like it's all going to make sense so please when this toxic ex comes back lying and manipulating and trying to drag you back in please be smart because if you if you go back to that you might miss this new person 
you might end up sabotaging things with this new person. And, and this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity with this new love that's coming in. So you really don't want to mess that up. This is somebody who's going to be aware of your beauty and your mystery and enchantment. They're just going to be aware of who you are. They're going to, you're not going to have to play games. They're just going to want you. They're going to choose their words wisely. This is like a gentleman type energy or, a, you know, a, or a gentle female. Either way, um, you know, they're going to be planning their approach. It's like somebody who's just going to respect you and appreciate you and love you so much more. Like, you know, it's it's like you're going to be, you were trash to this other person and you're going to be like pure gold to this new person, you know? It's like, I was, I was watching this TikTok video that resonates so much with this reading. It's like, you can be the, the, I think the TikTok video was, you know, you can be the entire package, but if you get sent to the wrong house, they're not going to, no matter what's in the package, they're not going to want you because it's the wrong house. So you need to not let yourself be sent to the wrong house. You need to go to the right house. You know, does that make sense? It's like you, you don't bother with this ex. Because you've got fast-moving energy. You've got a sudden turn of events. You could have love coming in all at once. You might be single right now, not talking to anybody. And then all of a sudden, you've got all these people all around you because you're in this, this high priestess, you know, sexual, powerful energy, manifesting love, making the world your oyster. And, you know, you might just have all this love coming in all at once. Um, all right. So any, any more thing, any other messages about this new person? Yeah, dreams, visions, telepathy, reconciliation, for thinking, for analyzing, self-sabotage, finances, career. I think you should overthink. You should put your, consider, continue to put yourself first instead of putting this reconciliation first. I guess your guides just want to come through more with a warning about this ex because that's like what's urgent is like, you know, you avoid the ex because it's just they're putting so much emphasis on that because they're like you don't want to pass up on this new love that you have this strong, deep psychic connection with, this new person that could be a potential life partner. You don't want to pass that up for the toxic ex. Um, sometimes they don't want to tell you about the new love too, because they don't want you to over, they don't want you to overthink it and sabotage it. You know, they want you to just let it flow naturally, but I'll see if that, can I get anything for you? If it's just gibberish and it means no, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Shyness, fear of rejection, faded encounter. So it's like, you're going to make this person shy and nervous, but they're going to be in like a very, do like, look at this, like dominant, sexual, like powerful. It's just, it's like a power couple. It's like, look how they just look like they're in love. Like they're just so attracted to each other. Um, faded encounter. And it could be saying too, when you meet this person, like if you see this person randomly, like at the grocery store, flirt with them. Don't pass them up. Don't just like walk away from them. Don't be scared. Like you need to push past your shyness and make a move or let them make a move on you you know what I mean like if you have that intuitive moment you're like oh wow this could be something like you know be mindful of that like give them the give them the green light at least you know but it's like yeah you make that you're gonna make this person shy too is another thing that I get is like you're gonna make this person just they're gonna just think that you're like the most beautiful most amazing thing in the world you know they're gonna appreciate you in ways that you haven't been appreciated before you know and don't let your mental instability mess that up don't let your fears mess that up don't let the shyness mess that up yeah adventure honeymoon vacation just really just a power couple just just true love happiness abundance traveling with this new person um maybe even being financially supported maybe you always financially support yourself and this person is like they're like, I get like a strong kind of masculine energy from them or like a strong, could be like a female masculine energy too, but this is like a go-getter. This is somebody who has it together. This is somebody who's successful, who owns their own business or maybe like a manager of a company or just something high up there. You know what I mean? Like they just, they have it together and they're going to want to spoil you. And it's just, it's a really good energy. So I hope that you choose this. Even if you can't see it yet, I know that you guys can feel it. So when this ex comes back around, please do not give in to your loneliness and go back to the familiar. You have worked so hard to cut that pattern out. So force yourself to block them. Force yourself to let it go, no matter how hard it is, because you do not want to pass up this new love.
Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. If it resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. If you would like a private reading, my um, email is below. I have a special just for January only $40, 50 minute reading or sorry, $40, um, 30 plus minute readings and five questions for $5 with the pendulum. Yes or no questions. So um, yeah, my email is below. Thank you guys for watching.